Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends. Hope you all are doing well. So this is me Ramin Ali and today we are going to study basic use of I am. Now, I am. We use in our daily life. This is a very common word I am. So let's get started. First one is I am fine. Now, I am. If someone asks you how are you, how are you doing? You will, what you will say? You will not say, fine, I'm I, um, am I fine or whatever. You will say, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm great. Now, we studied only one question. How are you then? The answers are very much. I am great. I am fine. I am good. I am well. And all that. So, the second sentence is, I am 20 years old. Now here what we are talking about. Here we are talking about our age. So if someone asked us that how old are you? What's your age? Or something like that. What will we say? I am this old. I am this I just write randomly. You will tell your age. Obviously. Is it like You will say I am 15. I am 21. I am 25. I am 18. Or whatever. So, I am 20 years old or I am 20. You can use any word or any short form. I am in Dubai. Now, here. If someone asks you, where are you? What will we say? I am in Dubai. We can say, we can tell our city name. We can tell our location. We can tell in the country or in the province where we are living. Where are you? I'm in Dubai. I'm in Pakistan. I'm in Italy. Wherever you can. Like, I mean, wherever you are in the city, in the province, in the location, or at any place, you can just tell that I am in and that place. I am tired of my work. If someone asks, like, you are feeling so bored and you are so tired, you're and if someone asks you that what happened and you will what you'll say and now if you want to say that you were doing very much work and now you are tired and you were like just want to get rid of your work what will you say i am tired of my work that work will be anything that you were doing i am near the shop if someone asks you to come and someone is coming to pick you and ask you for your location, you can say, I am near this bus stop, I am near the shop, near the school, near the academy, or anywhere you are. I am near the, that place. Next, I am a stranger here. If you are new to some place and if someone asks you, that who are you, you can say, because you are new at that place, you can say, I am a stranger here. You are new to that place. That's why you can say that I am a stranger here. I am terribly hungry. Now you ate your breakfast and after that you didn't eat anything for a long time. And you want to say that you are very, very hungry. You will not say I'm very much hungry. You will not say I'm very, very, very much hungry. What will you use? You can say I am terribly hungry. I am afraid to go afraid to go if you are scared of somewhere and you don't want to go to that place alone and if someone asks you to go that you can go by yourself and you don't want to go so you can say i'm afraid to go i am i under arrest this sentence is usually often said by the policemen or the those who do crime am i under arrest or someone, uh, sometimes the police say you are under arrest. So you can say that if I am saying that I'm I under arrest, I'm making sure that am I under arrest? Am I boring you? This is two sentences or these two sentences are the question sentences. Am I boring you? Am I boring you? If we are, we are talking continuously and the person who is sitting with us is just listening continuously to us and don't reply what will we say am i boring you i am a doctor 
I am an engineer, I am a teacher, I am a plumber, carpenter, I am a painter or whatever. If someone asks you what is your profession, what will you say? You can say I am a doctor, teacher, YouTuber or whatever. If someone asks me what is your profession, what will I say? I can say I am a student. I can say I am a YouTuber or I can say I am a teacher, I am a doctor or whatever my profession is. What will you say here is the profession, the profession you own. Your profession will be here. I am a your profession. These were the sentences of the basic use of I am. Let's study some more sentences to make better understanding. So our next sentence is I am smaller. If someone says you like I am taller, what will we we say? We'll say if you say me I am taller, I'll say I am smaller. I am tall. I am sure. If someone asks you that are you sure? You'll say what? I am sure. Like do you confirm it? Yep, I did. Something like that. So, I am sure, I am here at business, no, it's business, like here we are talking about business, I'm here at shop, I'm here at school, I'm here at um, Karachi, I'm here at shop or whatever, like wherever you are, you just have to say I am here at that place you are i am girl i am boy and i am women i am man your gender i am a girl and i am a boy so then i am afraid of dogs if you are afraid of dogs or if you are afraid of any animal you can say i am afraid of that animal like for example if you are afraid of lions what will you say i am afraid of lions i'm afraid of tiger and i am afraid of cat whatever like mostly the majority like you know more people are afraid of dogs that's why i destroyed i am afraid of dog i am ready if there is a race there is a con uh, concert or whatever and you have to go there, you have to perform and you have to do all that and like if someone asks you are you ready, then yes I am ready, I am fully ready, I was born ready, are you ready, I was born ready, this is a, like a sentence, I am lucky, if something happens to you and you were not expecting that thing to happen, what will you say, you will say I am lucky then i am i wrong if you're talking and you have a doubt in that and what will you say am i wrong or for like a kind of for a compliment you can say am i wrong so these were the our video the basic cues of i am that we study today i hope you liked the video if you are new at my channel so kindly subscribe my youtube channel if you like the video give it a big thumbs up meet you in the next video stay home stay safe allah hafiz